Are you looking out for hair transplant but are extremely confused about the cost of the hair transplant? There are some clinics which are giving you very cheap rates of hair transplant and on the other end there are many clinics who are giving you expensive to very very expensive rates for the hair transplant. Some clinics are calling you repeatedly offering more and more discounts and offers every day and asking you to sign up or give a token amount so that you can fix up your hair transplant at the earliest. Are you calling the clinic repeatedly and not not able to connect with the doctor who is going to perform your hair transplant. In this video, we will discuss very important five crucial points which you should be knowing about a costly or a cheap hair transplant which can prevent a complication later on because this is a one-time investment you are going to make on yourself and it is very important for you to know all the facts about the cost of hair transplant whether it is cheap or expensive whichever is suitable for you and why and which is better hi i am dr satya saraswat a gold medalist plastic surgeon diplomat of american board of hair restoration surgery and in this field for more than 17 years and have performed thousands of hair transplant and treated thousands of patients of hair loss do subscribe to our channel to know such useful facts or tips about your hair loss problem Point number one is the hidden cost. This is very, very important for you because sometimes some clinics may give you a particular amount for your procedure. But when you go for the procedure, they may ask you for operation theater fees or medicines fees or consumable fees or may not give you the inclusions which are generally given by clinics like PRP and other follow-up therapies. So do ask the clinic what are the inclusions in that cost, whether this is included or not. So this has to be clarified before booking your hair transplant procedure. Also very important for you to ask for your bill received after the procedure as this will keep you in the records of the clinic and you have to be a genuine patient of the clinic so that if there is a problem later on you want to correct with the doctor or the clinic you have to be in their books and be a genuine patient of a clinic. Do like this video if you're liking these important points till now. Now coming to the point number two between a cheap and an expensive hair transplant in a clinic is the involvement of the doctor. What are the credentials of the doctor? Whether that he is authorized to perform the hair transplant on you or not. As per the National Medical Council guidelines, a plastic surgeon or a dermatologist or a doctor specially trained in the field of hair transplant can perform your procedure. No other doctor can perform your procedure as per the NMC guidelines. So, do look out for the involvement of the doctor in your planning your treatment. How the treatment is planned, what are the treatments you have to take post-procedure, how to prevent further hair fall or hair loss and during the procedure, what are the steps going to be performed by the doctor. It should not be that the doctor is involved only for five minutes and leaves the clinic or the operation theater or the procedure room after performing just a few minor steps. The involvement of doctor has to be there till the end. There are some steps which are done by the team in the hair transplant but all these steps you have to ask the clinic where is the involvement of the doctor. Just apart from the degree itself, do ask whether the doctors are regularly attending the conferences or keeping themselves updated about the recent advancements which are happening in the field of hair loss and hair transplant. This is very very crucial for you. A clinic which is giving you very cheap hair transplant, the doctor may not be qualified to perform the procedure, may not be involved in your treatments later on or may not be guiding you about how to have the best results. Also, they may not be attending conferences and not keeping themselves updated because this field is changing very fast and a lot of advancements are coming almost on a yearly basis. The best doctors to perform your hair transplant are diplomats of ABHRS, American Board of Hair Restoration Surgery, as they undergo a rigorous examination process to achieve this degree and this certification. If you have any queries regarding your hair loss treatment or your hair transplant, do write down in the comment section below. Coming to the point number three, the consumables and the equipments used during the procedure. It is your right to ask the clinic what kind of equipments are being used for the hair transplant. A cheaper clinic may be using a low quality blades, may be using older techniques, may be using FUE machines which are very high speed and high torque and generally the dental drills which are cheap and have very high speed and there may be a lot of damage to your hairs. Whereas in an expensive clinic or a good clinic, the planning of the hair transplant is done on the basis of trichoscopy which is a costly machine which gives a very perfect understanding about your donor site, the quality of your hairs in the donor site during the sleep 
split making now there are sapphire blades available which are costly but they cause minimum damage and can give you very high density transplants a good fuv machine will be very low speed and have a low torque and may have an electronic display to tell you about the exact number of grafts which have been harvested in a good machine there may be both rotation and oscillation modes available for the extraction which may be customized as per your hair loss problem during the insertion there are two techniques forceps in implanter pens and a cheaper clinic the forceps may be poor quality with a poor precision at the end and they may be very cheap also whereas the good forceps for the implantation are very costly and the implanter pens are even more costlier than this even in implanter pens there are now new implanters like inruth which can implant up to 10 hairs or 10 follicular units in a single go so do ask the clinic if they are using the latest equipments for your hair transplant or not also ask the clinic whether they are reusing the older punches or not it's your right that the clinic should be using a new good quality punch in each and every case rather than reusing the older ones you can call us at the numbers given below if you want to know about a hair transplant or you want to book an appointment with us the next important point which you have to know is the safety protocols followed by the clinic if a cheap hair transplant is being performed there is a chance that the safety protocols are not being followed the safety equipments emergency crash cart all these facilities have to be available in the clinic because this is a medical procedure if the safety precautions are not kept there in the clinic then it can lead to a complication and this can be very dangerous for you a good clinic or even an expensive clinic will be having all the safety protocols in place they may be doing your complete test investigations allergy checking and keeping an eye on your vitals during the procedure also it is also important that the ot facility is very clean and hygienic and it is being sterilized on a regular regular basis so do ask what kind of safety precautions or protocols are followed by the clinic if you want to know about the crown hair transplant do watch this video on the link given above to know more about crown hair transplant coming to the last point which is very important is the team which is performing the procedure apart from the doctor in a cheap hair transplant clinic they call the technical staff from outside who may or may not be trained in this field or may not be keeping themselves updated about the hair transplant techniques in a slightly costlier or expensive hair transplant clinics the team is permanent and they themselves have routine interactions with the doctors and doctors are keeping their team also updated about the latest hair transplant technique in this way the best hair transplant practices are passed on to the patients so do check whether the team has been there in that particular clinic or with the doctor for a long time do not go with a clinic which is giving you a cheaper rates but asking a team to come from outside having a permanent team is also important so that you can contact the team members in the follow-up period generally a good clinic will give you the names and the numbers for 24 by 7 connection with the team so that they can guide you about any problems you may be facing so do keep this in mind before choosing the clinic also if you find this video and its important points which we have made out in this video do share this video with your friends your colleagues or anybody you know who is planning to undergo a hair transplant if you want to know the cost of hair transplant at our center do watch the video on the left and if you want to see the results of our operated patient and do want to watch their testimonial do click on the video on the right